हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वी एस पी लाच टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सी बी आई टॉपिक ऑफ दी सी बी आई यू नो वेरी वेल अबाउट सी बी आई सी बी आई इज अ सेंट्रल ब्यूरो ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन इन इंडिया जनरली वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग दैट रिसेंटली द सी बी आई इज डील इन द केसेस डील इन लिकर्स कैम्प एंड ऑल्सो वन ए पी केस वाई एस विवेकानंद मर्डर केस एज पर डायरेक्शन ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट सो इन दिस वी आवर चैनल इज दे गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट ए टोटल इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द सी बी आई सो दैट सी बी आई इज वन ऑफ द प्राइ इन्वेस्टिगेशन एजेंसी इन इंडिया so that this agency has investigating the bribery and uh, cor- government corruption cases and it operates under ministry of personal and public grievances and pensions so then the ciba in 1965 has received a expanded jurisdiction to investigate the to investigate the uh, existed laws enforced by the that is special central laws enforced by the union of india and uh, multi state organized cases and multi agents on international cases cbi is a officially designated one liaison deal with the interpol it means that is the only one investigation is agency dealing with the interpol so that this is a cbi now we are going to this is the powers jurisdictions and restrictions of the cbi then generally cbi is considered as per delhi special police establishment act 1946 then as per this powers duties privileges and liability on form of the cbi as per this powers the cbi is investigating the cases and uh, cbi is investigate the case in delhi within the territories of the delhi and central government may extend the areas to the cbi for investigation except to union territories with subject of the general consent of the state remember so that general consent is required so the officer of member of the cbi or rank of the sub inspector of police as a charge of the cbi investigating the matters and uh, cbi in 2022 nine states in india have been withdrawn general consent to the cbi for investigation in their states it means there is no general consent to the cbi in their for investigation in their states so then the the next topic is that relation with the states then 
section 6 you already told that cbi is constituted as per delhi special police establishment act 1946 it operates within the territories of the delhi and section 6 of the delhi special police establishment act general consent is required investigate the matter in the state once the general consent is received the cbi investigate the matter within the state and investigating the economics corruptions and special crimes including drugs narcotics etc with general consent of the state then investigating that cases so this is the cba with state relations and uh, next point is that high court and supreme court high court of the states and supreme court have the jurisdiction to direct the cbi to investigate the offense alleged have been committed in the state without general consent of the state so that there is no general consent is required in to investigate the matter case matter in the state under direction of the honorable high court and supreme court so why delivering the judgment by the honorable supreme court 17 to 2010 void civil appeal 6249-6250 the supreme court held that there is a courts we are the protectors of the civil liberties of the citizens not only have a powers and jurisdiction we have and also have a obligation towards for protection of the right fundamental rights of the citizen is guaranteed by the part 3rd article 21 of the constitution of india and uh, as per that the the uh, if any honorable high court or supreme court direct the cba to investigate in any case then there is a general there is no need of the general consent the is then investigate the matter and report submit to uh, submit maybe submit to the honorable high court or supreme court so that then the history of the supreme um, so be cbi cases the conviction rate of the cbi in 2020 we came to know the 69 percent 83 69.83 percent rate and then the high profile cases were handled by the cbi banwar murder case and uh, Satyam Scandal's case, Sister Abhaya murder case, these are the high profile cases. And CBI uh, is investigating the cases and generally following the CRPC, um, uh, CRPC criminal procedure code under section 160 and 91 of the CRPC, then calling the witness for examining and also ordered to bring the relevant documents and under section 160 uh, of the crpc cbi given option to the women their option is to investigate the matter in their house and time may be investigating the case time period is that with below 6 p.m. So, this is a investigation as per C CRPC. So, handled by the CBI. Now, 
see that as per conviction rate we came to know that cbi is the 69% 83% conviction rate is that once cbi is case larger then is a cbi investigation is a more powerful and perfect evidence will be brought and uh, uh, submitted before the court there is the court of law and uh, the accused may be punished so this is the topic friends cbi in our india so i think you have had some of the idea by seeing this video please like share subscribe forward to your friends thank you one and all this is vs patel member of the supreme court bar association and uh, like members of the high court बार एसोसिएशन तेलंगाना एंड आंध्र प्रदेश लेस इन हैदराबाद करीम नगर तेलंगाना स्टेट नाइन थ्री जीरो फाइव नाइन फाइव डबल जीरो सिक्स थैंक यू वन एंड ऑल